Oh my goodness me. What the heck? Did we not do this one? 60%. What the heck's going on? Whoa, this is all building up down here as well. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> it's all backed up along here again. What? What am I doing? Because this is just getting absolutely nuts. Look how red it is. Oh, wow. It's got so bad. Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines with me Biffa and here we are in Teville just taking a look at the uh, Magic Roundabout that we built a few episodes ago. I was just a bit distracted there by looking at what's happening with the cars over here. They seem to be having a little bit of an issue. Uh, last episode, we sorted out our... Let's have a look if I can get this one to... Hmm, yeah, let's give way... Uh, do you know what? We'll leave it as it is. There's hardly any traffic there. Last episode, we built this over here, our sports centre area, our sports island. I keep calling it an island. I've had people point out to me it's not an island because it's connected up there. I know, I know, but... Yes, that's what I've got. And, yeah, I had a little bit of a mini disaster. Uh, after the last episode, you remember we lost an absolute ton of money. We were almost going to be bankrupt. And, yeah, it was a big disaster. It cost us so much money. Well, then I didn't save the game. I loaded it up this morning to come in and fix that issue. And, yeah, no save game. So I've had to rebuild this for memory and looking back at some videos couple of things are slightly different i've got a few less items in we haven't got all the items we had in here look didn't we have a little zone in here we did um, and i've made changes with the monorail as well quite a few comments people saying oh what are you doing with the monorail don't put it off the road just put it in line with the road so that's there that's there all in line that's in line i've moved it around there that one up by the train station and this one and that's that's working well i've also connected up these two little roundabouts uh, the two actual dog bones that were in the title of the last episode <laughs> that's where they come off and go through uh, this one here should just go straight through to another highway if ever we see this one here could attach to this highway here we could clear out and make some space for junction i may not do that but we'll see. And this one here could come up here later on. So, you know, there's options to change it. But we've got the dog bones in use now. So, yep, that is good. So I want to put this one as a leisure. And there we go. We have some leisure items built up in here. And then we have, over this side, some hotels that have been popping up as well, which is great. So the other issue we've got up here is 31 no educated workers. So that will be a little pop-up that's on top of a building that's saying they need educated workers, but they're not getting enough. I'm just trying to find a building around here that we could see that on. Oh, man, we're getting some traffic. There we go. This building here. So not enough educated workers. So let us have a look at our education options. Uh, university, yeah. Plenty, oh, oh capacity, oh. Okay, I think I did increase this university before. So we're gonna do a little bit of that. And we could probably pop in here a public library as well, because that is gonna give some bonuses. Yeah, I guess even with this big capacity, not many students are coming across here. So I'm thinking maybe at some point we are going to need some more university options other places in our city. Because it's a long way to go from people up here to travel all the way down there. They will do it, but it is a long way to go. So what I'm just thinking for now... There we go. I think that fits in. That fits in lovely with this area. Nice big building. We can build some more around here as well. And that becomes a bit more of a focus point. I do like that. Let's just extend some of these roads and see what's going to happen here. Because we've got this connection here that we said about, which we could join up to. Ooh, I'm quite liking that. So let's just uh, let's just roll with this for a bit and see where we go. Yeah, we're definitely going to end up with a roundabout at the end of this. So I'm going to pick the three-lane one here and we're going to pop that yeah i think that will work okay and then we are going to connect up to that oh there we go we're already getting some people cutting through here so let's just make sure that this roundabout is set up correctly there we go we should do that i'm hoping that not too many people are going to use this as a cut through over the highway or if they do it doesn't cause too much of a problem we should be okay let's just set that one up as well 
Uh, there we go. So you go through, you go through, you go through, and you go through. Excellent. And then down here, I think our lanes are already all set up. Yeah, we're fine. So we'll leave that bit going there. And some other changes I forgot to mention, as well as moving these monorail stations here onto the main uh, line rather than off the line. Then I've also put these roads here underneath the highway instead of the weird monorail that, whoa, hello, that we had going over the top before, which was a little bit odd. So we've got a sunken road there, and we've got a nice sunken road there as well. And I think that works out really, really well. At the moment, uh, we're not losing as much money as before, although I am losing minus 3,000. But I've got most of these turned off, I think, because we just can't afford it. We need to build up our money, and it's an autosave. Quick sip of tea. Just notice we're getting some horrendous traffic coming off of these junctions over here. So let's just sort these out. Uh, you need to give way coming on. That's going that way. You need to give way. That's fine. And just make sure that these things can move smoothly. You can go through. You can go through. And then when they get down here, I would really like this to be a junction where they don't stop. So we've got... Yeah, do you know what we need here? We need an asymmetrical row. So those that are coming in, at the minute, you can see there we've got one lane for right and this one for left and straight on. So we're going to change that. And now we've got one for left, right and straight on. That's going to work much, much better if I grab that. So one for right, one for straight on, one for left. Lost a couple of houses, but not the end of the world. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that you guys give way. You keep going. Um, you give way and you give way. Oh, whoops. There we go. And we just see how that goes. That shouldn't be too bad. I think this one should be set up already. Uh, nope. Let's set that one up. That will be fine. This roundabout we've done. That one we've done. This one down here we haven't done. So you're going to give way. That should be okay. That's not quite as busy. And then this one down here will be fine. This one over here. Yep. That should be good. We've just got park cars here even though we've got a blooming car park over there but yeah i think that should be okay let's just check how many people are using our here we go our monorail so we're getting some using the monorail oh my goodness me what the heck did we not do this one okay well first of all it might be because there's trees in the road <laughs> So I'll fix that. Whoa, yeah. Every, this is like blocking up. So now people are using this to come out of here instead of going through the highway. And they would have gone up to here, down there, and round here instead. Whoa, we're getting traffic everywhere. 60%. What the heck's going on? Whoa. Something somewhere has gone a bit weird. Whoa, this is all building up down here as well. Look at this. Oh, man, that's nuts. Okay, so I'm using the traffic routes mod here to see what's going on. So that's this option down here. Select a route, and then if you click on a road, it will put all of these lines in like this and show you where all the cars are coming from. So you've got all these different colours. I normally just turn off pedestrians and cyclists. So we're left with private vehicles, public transport and cargo, trucks, and city service vehicles. And you can see they're coming up here. Most of them want to go on. They just want to go on and go on and head through the city. Uh, quite a few are coming off here, so I'm going to click on this road instead. So all the ones that are coming off, quite a few are going around that roundabout and heading down into this city. And you can see as it goes on, they sort of spread out. But quite a few are then going up these roads, round this roundabout, or they're coming down here, heading round this uh, elongated roundabout we've got here, the sausage about. They're going up this road here, so it's all these purple ones, these private vehicles. Then they're going up around here, then they're going up around here, and then they're getting into this area. So they're doing that instead of taking the highway. I mean, I can delete the road connection, or what I could do is slow down these roads using the speed tool, the speed limits, and see whether we can make this any better. So in a minute, this is 100 mile an hour. Let's slow this right down. Do you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to just change that type of road. We are going to go for a one-way, three-lane, this one here. So it's a little bit smaller. There we go. Excellent. We still should have the whole roundabout set up as normal. Yes, and yeah. So now the speed on this is 60, which is more like it. The intermediate rows are 50. This is 60. I'm going to slow this one down to 40, as it's a much smaller roundabout. 
So these roads are 50. That's 40. This is 50 here. That might just be all the difference we need. Yeah, then they're coming along here. How fast is that? It's 50. This is 40. So let's just run the game for a few moments and see whether that makes much of a difference. Still got traffic. Everybody coming down here and getting stuck on this roundabout coming out of here. Yeah, I definitely want everybody else to give way to these cars just so we can keep that moving. If you give way, give way. You keep going and then we'll do that and you just keep going through the junction. And hopefully that will work a little bit better. So that's cleared up this here. What I'm thinking of doing as well is just making these roads one way going in. Um, we don't have a good... Oh, I want a road like this. That's one way with the trees down the middle. We don't have anything like that. And this is why people end up going for these six lane massive roads. But that's like the same size as the other one. We'll stick that in for now. And then I may look at the workshop at another time. So that's going to stop traffic building up that way. Then this traffic here. See these guys are coming up. They were going to go up here. But now they're not going to come up there. And they're going to go this direction. Which long story short should solve this traffic here as well. There we go. That's not so bad now. I don't think there's much other traffic building up anywhere else. So this is slowing down a bit here. Uh, this is where we were. We didn't do anything with the lane mathematics, did we? And the lane connectors with this junction. So let's do a little bit of that. We've got four here plus one there going into a three. Yeah, let us do some lane mathematics on this one here let's grab the two lane here so we've got four one going off there one going off there and then i'm going to put two in the middle here like that so that's going to add up to the four that's going to be a two all the way through there we go 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 so that two plus one here is going to make three which is good so let's just connect these guys up oh this is actually a four do you know what? That needs to be a three. So let's change that. There we go. And then that'll work much better. So then, yep, let's connect these up. So you go there. You go there. And a Hugo there. So that's fine. And we want them to just keep going through and not stop. We should already set up. And then when they come down here, um, I don't want them to pick different lanes there. I just want them to th flow. <laughs> not to throw. To flow all the way through. To not stop. And then they can pick their lanes when they get down here. So let's just see if that is going to help, which it should do. And then when they get down here, we have got three lanes, haven't we? Yeah. So then what I'm going to do on this roundabout is I'm going to do the thing that I like to do is one lane for off, two lane for on. One lane for off, two lane for on. We're going to do that all the way around. This is obviously going to be a little bit of a busy roundabout until our traffic starts rerouting itself. And then we're going to say, when you come on, pick your lane. And when you come on, pick your lane. When you come on, pick your lane. And when you come on, pick your lane. There we go. So let's just keep an eye on this little section here. There we go. Look, this isn't backed up anymore up around here, which is good like it was. And hopefully this will die down. We've got a lot of traffic up there. So let's just give that a minute. Yeah, that's not too bad. Something I think I am going to do is to stop any trucks coming through here. I just think... I don't want anybody using this as a cut through. People can if they want, but yeah, look, there's so many trucks. We've also got a lot of parking on here, which always makes it look worse than it is. Let's get rid of the parking. There's no parking there like this. zippity doo -dah across that road there. Ivy Square. And then we'll go to our policies. And we are going to pick the policy that says... Oh, heavy traffic ban. No heavy transport vehicles allowed. Does not affect highways. We're going to go for that one. And that should hopefully stop too much traffic coming through that way. How are we doing? 59%. Yikes. I just think we've got a huge influx of people wanting to come to this area. And this is the way they're going. You can almost see the red where they're working their way through. So these guys coming down here now will be interesting to see. Let's use the traffic tool. And I'm going to pick this road here. So yeah, look, now people are coming down here and coming in that way. So we sold it from that direction, which is good. And then these other ones are going here. Some are coming up and they're just going straight through. Done it. But it's coming up from the other direction. So this road here, most of them are still... 
Ooh, actually, not as many. Look, not as many are coming up here. No one's coming up here. That's it. So once this traffic's gone down that we've got here already, that will just make the world a difference and solve that problem once this has gone down. So let's do a little speedy up session. Aha, have a sip of tea and wait for that to go down. There we go, look. Look, this is barely backing up now. It's taking a while to go down, but that's barely backing up along there, which is good. Still got a little bit backing up along here, but these guys are all trying to get in and out of this area. I'll tell you what we could just do along this road here is have I done the lane thing? No, we haven't. Let's just help them out here with some lane arrow work. So we're going to have one lane for left, one for straight on. I'm going to do that at all the junctions. So one lane for right, one for straight on. This one here, one for left, one for straight on. And then by the time we get down here, that's fine. We've got all the lanes. Oh, we've got a problem with our lanes here. Could have done with a bit of lane mathematics. Just spotted it. Downgrade that. Look, three. One comes off down to two. Now we're going to stop these people all getting stuck behind. Then they can spread out and go through there. And the same this direction as well. There we go. That will work much better. And this one here. Look, three down to two. And then that goes off. So that should actually technically go down to one. Like that. And then these two come on and go that way. Let's just watch that for a minute. Hopefully this bit unclogs. Yeah, it's gone down. It's not too bad. But these guys then go up here. They go along there and go up here. And then they get stuck behind a bus. So, um, bus lanes, bus lanes, bus lanes. Something small with a bus lane. That's large with a bus lane. We're going to have to rebuild some houses, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Because then the bus stops that we've got along here, there and there and there. That's the same line, isn't it? All right, removing that one. There we go. And hopefully then that will stop these guys getting in each other's way so much. I'm also going to turn off parking. So let's see how that goes. And yeah, look, it's not backed up along here anymore. Let's follow along here. <laughs> oh, it's all backed up along here again. What? What am I doing? Do you know what I'm thinking of doing is just giving these guys a bit of a bypass to get up into here. Like coming off of here, up round here cutting across there and just joining over here or something yeah let's see how that goes i'm gonna put a let's have a look here two lane road on the end so they can go left and right and let's see how many take that instead and then we might just yeah let's just add some extra lanes here just to give them some room to get off we're gonna do that and then hopefully that lane on the outside is just for turning up here. Yeah, I might just move that a little bit further down. There we go. And then hopefully more people will take that and just bypass the whole of this section here. Because this is just getting absolutely nuts. Look how red it is. So we're going to have to wait for these to go past to recalculate what they're doing. And then hopefully... Yeah, this will go a bit better. We also need a bit of lane management here. Oh, Hugo hasn't done his job. Come on, Hugo. You go there, you go there, and you go there. Oh, there we go. The first person to take the new route. I've been waiting to see. It's a farm truck owner, Santa Rico. Let's follow this guy and see where he's going to go. Oh, he's bombing it. He's bombing it. He's going to dodge the trees. Oh, he made it through. Yes, I need to delete some trees. Up and over the humpback bridge. Dodge some more trees. And then wait at the traffic lights. I imagine this is going to get super busy. Yep. We will see what happens. I will go and remove some trees. Oh my goodness. It's like... It's just backing up everywhere. Look at it. Even with the new lane arrow things I'm putting in. They're just like, no. We're going to just do what we want. We don't care. Oh wow. It's got so bad. What? This is just nuts. And it's not even because they're going up there. They're just travelling around here. Is it the 300 students coming to the <laughs> university? So yeah, this is okay now here. Look, we've given more space. They're not stopping along there. I just think it's this. Can't cope with all of this. Hmm. Just wondering whether a little bit of a change here. Could we connect this up to this? We're going to lose all of these houses, oh, these businesses down here. What have we got here? We've got two lanes. This is going to be upgraded to three lanes all the way around. 
and then we're going to bring this up here and I want I wanted that to connect to this if possible uh, let's remove that unfortunately the shape's going to be a bit off there but maybe we can do something about that There we go. How about that for a roundabout? That is just nuts. And let's just make sure we've got all the giveaway signs and things that we need. So that's all okay around there. That's all okay. And then they come up here. That's okay. So they get straight onto the roundabout and round. Uh, let's have a look at that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now that is a bit different, and then we don't have the option for turning around. If they do, they've got to go all the way up there, but I'm wondering whether that will help. They will just get straight down here and go, rather than going around this way. Let's see. Ooh, look at that! So I've removed the little slip lane that was here, and I'm making people come down and join this uh, dog bone about. I don't know what you're going to call it. L about? It's really weird. And that has stopped it all backing up along here, which is great. So now it's just everybody going the other way. Joining... What are these guys doing here? Oh, this is that rubbish junction that I did, isn't it? Oh, no wonder this one's a mess. Yeah, we need to change this for a proper junction, don't we? Hang on one second. Okay, so I'm putting this Anzio three-way interchange in here. I'm just wondering whether I could just slightly change the lanes on here because we've got four lanes and two lanes and all sorts of things. Um, I want these as three. Ideally, I want these ones that go round to be one like this, which I think would work a lot better. There we go. So let me just downgrade all these to one. Yeah, there we go. And we've got this going into a two-lane highway before it hits the three-lane one. Uh, what I want to do as well is just make sure that all of these on these junctions are sticking to the correct lane. So let me just go around and set these up at the three points. And also here, we don't want anybody using it as a place to turn around. There's plenty of roundabouts in the city that can help them to do that. There we go. I think that will get things moving much better. It's going to despawn a few cars, of course, but let's just see how that goes. Something we don't want is people stopping here. So I'm just going to use that tool and say, you go straight through. Uh, that should do it automatically, and that should do it automatically. And then I'm going to just double, double check that this roundabout here is set up. It is. It's got three lanes going everywhere. It has. This is going to get super busy. I think we might just leave it as it is for now. And we'll see how that goes as, yeah, as this traffic runs through. So let's just keep this running. And there we go. Look at that. This is all cleared up. This is all cleared up. This is all cleared up. And this isn't too bad. You get a little bit of traffic coming here. I'm just wondering if we could just slow down that roundabout a tad. And then just checking these guys down here. They're struggling to get on here because of this blockage, which is being caused by everybody coming up to this roundabout and causing all sorts of problems. Now, we've only got two lanes. And I remember when I put these in a long time ago, I said we'll probably need to upgrade them and sort them out and change them and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to upgrade these to three lanes. There we go. Do we have the giveaway signs and stuff? Yes, we do. And then we're going to do what we do, which is one lane for off and two for straight on. One lane for off, two for straight on. This is the episode where T-Ville came close to total collapse. Look, already just having the three lanes has made all the difference. And then we'll say this one here, pick a lane. This one here, pick a lane. And this one here, pick a lane. And this one here, pick a lane. And if you're on, you go through, you go through, you go through, and you go through. And then we may even, we said as well, that we might need to put some little bypass roads on here. I don't know whether we're going to do that right now or not. We shall see how that goes. There we go. It's not backing up half as much as it was there, which means these guys and girls can get out, which is good. Half tempted to add a little slip road into over here, but no, most people are using that, which is good. So that's going down. This is going down. So the only bit left that's causing traffic, look, this is all cleared up. Oh, that's all moving. Oh, we've got a lot of backing up going on there. 
Oh, got a bit of flooding going on down here, which I don't think was helping our situation. Let's just lift all this up a little bit. All the cars were stopping. Come on, you can go now. Don't, what are you doing? Don't just stop in the middle of the road. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. So ideally, I'd want all of these cars here to come down this road to leave because it means they're right by the junction and can go straight out. So I'm half thinking that I might just make this road here a road going in instead of a road going out like that. And now they think they're being clever. They're turning around and going around this roundabout and coming out of this one, which is even further away from the way to go out. So you know what I'm going to do? You can't outsmart me is I'm going to get my three way, three lane, one way road. And I'm going to say that is a way for coming in as well. Yeah. So see how that goes for you. There is a sentence in there somewhere. But yeah, anyway, let's watch what happens with all these cars. There we go. Look, we can see them all coming down the top road up here. And hopefully this isn't going to build up too much. And these will be able to get out. Looks like it will. If that starts backing up, we can just add an extra lane onto the uh, roundabout there. Or a little slip road to go off. But yeah, that should be much, much better. Oh yes, we're getting very chock-a-block in this area over here. I've just upgraded this little roundabout. And you can see that we haven't done the giveaway signs and everything properly. Because everybody's coming on when they shouldn't be. You can go round, you can go round. And also because I put this as a six lane one way road, <laughs> there's like six lanes being used down there. Um, 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 do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just change this to a three lane like that and then let these buildings rebuild themselves. I think that would be the way to go. And then that makes much more sense coming on there. There we go. Let it run for a bit and it's not too bad. It's just a few park cars and things. This is clearing up as well. This is clearing up. Good, good, good. What are we at? 75%. Wow, that was like an epic fix, wasn't it? Could still do with a little bit more here. We need some bypass roads down there. But do you know what? Man, that is going to be it. I need some cups of tea. Thank you very much for watching. Any suggestions you've got, stick them in the comments below. Don't forget to watch the video on the screen and subscribe before you leave. And I will see you all next time for the next episode of City Skylines. Take care. Bye-bye.